It was a solemn procession across the steps of Credo House in Kuva as scores of parishioners came to bid their final farewell to what many considered as a sanctuary. Some chose to touch the door, while others simply placed their hands on the step of the building. But for many, it would be their last as on Tuesday, demolition work begins. Sister Emerencia chose to remember the building in a written poem. As we grow old from year to year, our bodies need repair. Our eyes grow dim, our hair turns grey, and we seek for dental care. And so it is with Credo House, we replaced the doors and floor, until the structure was so weak it could really take no more. But as the procession made its way into the Hall of Holy Faith Convent, past student Leah Abdullah, who has been leading the course to save the Credo House, said their information is that the building can be refurbished. It's actually, over this weekend, we got the opinions of two engineers who said that Credo can be saved. So then this today was our last ditch effort to say, well, you know, we got the, the engineers to say that it can be saved. With demolition carded to begin on Tuesday, Leah is hoping the authorities would grant them one final wish. One of the things we still, I don't know, we still want to do is to ask them if they could at least delay the demolition until January. Because January the 1st is the 60th, the 60th anniversary of Holy Faith Convent Coover and what would the 60th anniversary be without Credo House here? Holy Faith sister Theresa Vialva said a structure would be rebuilt on the advice of the leadership of the congregation to continue its mission of faith development. She insisted they hold no ill feeling toward those who opposed the demolition. I feel that they see from their side what they consider to be the best step and I thank them for their interest because the building has been important to us as well and I hope maybe that we can work together. The building is being torn down because of what is considered as safety issues. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sukram.